Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this electric organ. I found it on garbage day, whomever threw it out had already removed the stand and the legs, so I was able to put it into my car. And the nice thing about this organ is now I could throw this whole thing into my scrap pile. There's a lot of tin shred on here. However, there are some other goodies that I do want to remove before I put it into my tin shred. So what I want to do today is go over the different parts, show you how to identify them, how to separate them properly, and most importantly, how to maximize your profit and divert this from the landfill. So as I said, you do find these from time to time. This is my first organ that I've actually scrapped. I have found a few that have been whole, intact. I found two that actually worked. So people do actually put them on the side of the road uh, or on uh, different uh, Kijiji or websites for asking for a good home. So I have luckily been able to donate one or two to um, different uh, community centers. And some people will sell the parts as well. This one, however, is heavily corroded. It was actually sitting out in the rain. It was covered with leaves and different uh, maple keys. Um, so this one is going to be scrapped. And the first thing I had to do when I uh, started tackling this is actually remove the top couple plates. And as you can see, this is magnetic. There's a couple different pieces. And this is gonna go into my tin shred pile. Uh, to clarify, at a scrapyard, you have, when it comes to metal, um, you have tin shred and you have steel. And I've had some people ask, well, what's the difference between tin shred and steel? The difference is the thickness of the metal. If this steel was thicker than a quarter inch, it would go into my steel pile. Because it is thinner than a quarter inch, it's going to be classified as tin shred. At a scrapyard right now, currently, tin shred is going for about 10 to 12 cents a pound Canadian, which is awesome. Steel's a little bit higher. And if you're thinking about, well, what is steel? A lot of things like structural beams or I-beams, that is more, or the thicker types of steel, structural steel, as I said, or rebar is its own category. Um, but tin and shred is a little bit less in price than steel. But again, not discouraged because tin, shred, steel, Great thing about those is they're the most common things you're gonna find while scrapping. It does not take a lot to add up weight, so that's definitely a great thing. And this organ is actually very heavy. Just as is, this actually weighs 77 pounds. So definitely, if I was even to throw this into my tin shred as is, at 77 cents, of, or at uh, 77 pounds, I'm gonna get $7.70 as is. So definitely a great find. And just glad also that I can divert this from the landfill. So there is a lot of different tin shred here. Um, and there were a lot of screws. What I do with my screws as I'm going through it, I just put them onto a magnet. I will then afterwards, I will put them in a container. And the container, usually once I fill up a container, it's usually like a four liter jug. It's about 10 pounds actually of nuts and bolts and screws. I do throw that into my steel pile. So definitely want to make sure that I gather those up as well because they add up. If they're in great condition, I have used screws before again. So uh, again, it depends on the condition, but as you can see, they're really rusty. Some of them just broke off due to age and corrosion. As I'm getting through this, after I remove the top plates, you can see the keys here. And one of my viewers asked me, do I have to remove the plastic from tin shred or steel in order, order for them to accept it at a scrapyard? And the answer is no. I can actually throw this in. Scrapyards are not gonna care about the little bit of plastic on here. It just gets melted away anyway. Um, I've thrown, for example, vacuum cleaner hoses that are steel coiled inside with a nice plastic um, covering on them. Those will go into my tin shred pile as well. No questions asked. So it is okay to leave these keys on there, um, on here as well. So that is definitely a good thing that I don't have to take those off because of obviously time. Because this is an electric um, organ, there is a lot of wires. So I've already cut this one. This came from the back. There is a number of different wire that I still have to cut off and it's definitely worthwhile to cut that off. Uh, very easy to do. At a scrapyard, this wire here will be classified as 60% copper recovery. 
and is actually currently going for $2.23 a pound Canadian. Um, copper prices have skied, which is great, and copper wire is no different. When we look at the difference between 60% copper recovery and 40%, it depends on the amount of coating that is around the wire. As you can see, these are individual strands, and there is only one coating of plastic around it. So therefore, this would be higher copper content, less plastic to copper ratio, so $2.23 a pound. And there is actually a lot. There's some in the back that I, I can get. This is obviously a big strand and it all adds up. There's about seven ounces right here alone and there's a couple of these big strands. This is, as I said, even though it doesn't look like a lot, it adds up. There's probably two and a half pounds of wire there. Uh, an example of 40% is if you look at, for example, a common item, a microwave or a dehumidifier, you have the thicker, uh, appliance wire, if you cut that open, there's usually three strands of copper wire that are individually wrapped with coating, as well as the outer additional coating of plastic. That, because there is more plastic, less copper, that is your 40%, and currently even that is going for $1.23 a pound right now. So it is a good price as well, but you definitely want to make sure you know your wires, make sure you separate it, because as I said, for an extra dollar a pound, you want to separate it. If you have them together, the scrapyard is going to give you the lower value. So this, as I said, is 60%. So before I do throw this out, I do want to make sure that I cut all of this wire off. And as I said, very easy to do. I'm just going to go as close as I can to it. Do a little snippy snippy. One of my greatest tools, you know, in uh, my scrapping arsenal is my pliers or my cutters. You know, definitely speed up the process but just showing you how easy it is, how quick, and again, I am gonna go into it later, get further, closer, but, you know, it all adds up, okay? The last real thing that I wanted to show you is on this, if I can turn this, take this panel off. There is, right here on the back, a transformer, so I'm just gonna cut that out right now. So this transformer, it does have a steel protective case on it. If I put a magnet to it, there it is. But inside of here is actually a transformer that has copper in it. This is gonna be number uh, two copper inside of it. Uh, a common transformer that you do find on different circuit boards and stuff is something like this. Um, inside of there, there are spools. I'll take it up to the camera. You can just see inside of the spools of copper. And that copper right there, is something I definitely take. I actually have another video showing taking apart small transformers for the copper. It is definitely worth it. I just put it into a giant bag and it adds up. These ones are a little bit more difficult because of the steel uh, box around it, but all I'm gonna do actually is just put it in my vise. I'm gonna hit that with a flathead screwdriver to see if I can break that tape off. It also has inside of there as well a small little motor. This is a copper bearing motor. Uh, at a scrapyard, these go for about 10 to 15 cents a pound. And there is, although there is copper inside of this, these for me are not worth taking off the case. I will just leave this as is. I will put this into my copper bearing motor pile and I will get 10 to 15 cents a pound for that. So that's definitely good. There's usually one or two small ones like this. But I'm gonna try this transformer. I'm just gonna put it in my vise. Hopefully it works. Um, it might take a little bit of time, but like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on here showing you how to do it. Um, but definitely an easy way. So just breaking right now the plastic or the glue. And actually I'm going to turn it now to make my vise. Use leverage to kind of pry it out. But it is easy to do and is worth your time because like I said, copper prices right now are great. Now I could have, I could have even just cut it with a grinder, opened up this case. I'm sure there's other ways for sure, but just showing you if you don't have a grinder, just using science and a quick method. So here we go. It's coming now. There's my face plate. And I could even, like I said, just get both sides. A lot of glue inside. 
side here too. It's just hard to kind of tackle here, but the problem is too is sometimes what you need to also do is realize, is it worth taking it apart um, for the copper? Some of the transformers that you see will actually have a lot more plastic and less uh, copper. So you've got to really check if you can see inside of it, that definitely helps. Um, but I'm just gonna actually just, um, you know, for the sake of this video, sake of time, I am just gonna look at it very quickly, just pry this up. I can see inside of there, there is not a lot of copper. You can see the glue, I've broken it. So this is actually not worth taking a part for the copper. There's a lot more glue inside of there. Um, so actually, this is just gonna go into my transformer pile as is. The nice thing about this is, as I said, it's about 15 cents a pound. And someone might say, well, why don't you just leave it as your tin shred? Because it is part of this, that is definitely something, an option, so I don't have to waste my time with this. If this was a transformer like this, that has the copper in it, definitely it is worth your time. Um, so, again, nice thing about the rest of this is once I get this wire off, all of this frame is metallic, okay? I have seen some people say there is a little bit of brass on there and stuff. I've looked at this one, there is no brass on the keys. Um, but again, every model is different. But from what I can see, the rest of this is actually just gonna go into my tin shred. I'll uh, just quickly take off the rest of this wire just to show you underneath. You can see lots of nice wire here and all I would do is just actually cut all the way down, uh, take the rest of this. So about a pound and a half of that. The rest of this, like I said, I'm looking at it probably about 76 pounds, 77 pounds of tin shred now so this can just go right back into my car and go right to the landfill or scrapyard sorry not landfill scrapyard for about seven dollars and sixty cents as is so very quick video um you know a lot of uh these you will find from time to time make sure you check to see if it works because as i said if it works you could definitely donate it people are always looking for it or aspiring musicians um, you know, definitely a waste, but people are getting rid of them and again, keep your eye open because it just shows you there is a lot of different things you can find on scrap day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.